All right, so back on the track today. I'm gonna do a video today on my entire training sessions. So Mondays, I like to do two sessions. My morning session, I like to do my plyos and some sprints. My afternoon session, I'll be in the gym doing some Olympic lifting and some squats. I'm going to include the entire session in the bio. So every set, every rep that I do, the rest in between to show you how I structure a double session when I have the availability to do that. Mondays work well for me because my weight room session on Mondays is very low volume. So I just do some snatch, some clean and jerk and front squats. So it allows me some more time throughout the day to get another session in. And that's why I'm here on the track this morning. We're gonna do some short acceleration, so some sled work, some short sprints with no sled. So we're gonna start off, I'm gonna go through my warm up. I'm not gonna show you guys the warm up because I think the warm up should be very specific to each person. My warm up is just what I like to do. It's just move around a little bit, do some drills, and then I go straight into my plyo session first. So I'm gonna knock my warm up out and then we're gonna get straight into the different plyos of hops, bounds, skips, different type of uh, easy plyos to kind of warm up for that sled work. So, plows are done. I kind of use those as an additional warm up since they're not very intensive. I like to start off easy and then as I get to the last few sets of whatever movement I'm going to do, I like to build an intensity, put a little bit more effort into it. The goal of that is to just create stiffness, make good contact with the ground and try to bounce off that ground as quickly as possible. That's the plyo section. Um, even though I'm technically warmed up, I like to start off prior to any of my sled sprints doing a couple just like short bursts, so I, like one to three hard steps, um, just to kind of warm up that initial power in the, the acceleration phase. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Probably do about two to three sets. Start off one step, two hard steps, three hard steps, and then four, maybe five hard steps. And then we're gonna start off with the sled. We're gonna do heavy sled marches first, um, probably 70 to 80 kilos on the sled. And then we'll get into our first set of contrast sprints. All right, so sled setup. I wanna show you guys this really cool sled setup that I have. Boom, 75 kilos on the sled. The pin that goes through the center here isn't long enough for all the plates, but luckily there was duct tape. So taping those on, I'm only doing, I'm only doing sled marches, so it should be okay. The plates shouldn't be falling off. If I were doing sprints, I probably wouldn't have this type of setup, but since we're just doing marches, it's not gonna be as fast, not so much jerking. It should stay on, but Sometimes you gotta improvise. So, sled is set up. We're gonna do three, maybe four sets of sled marches here. And the purpose of this, get a heavy sled. You wanna use between 70 to 80% of your body weight. So 75 kilos, I weigh roughly 100, just under 100. So 75 kilos is right in that range. But the idea here is just, you wanna feel like that you're pushing the ground as hard as you can behind you, maintaining that forward angle, which is similar to what you would be doing if you were just doing an all out sprint in that first 20 to 30 meters anyways. Uh, and it's a good way to just kinda of like get the legs ready to push sleds, move fast, and get things going. So that's gonna be the setup, three to four sets, heavy marches, and then we'll get into the contrast sets. All right, 
So, sled march is done. Duct tape did its job for the most part. Started falling apart there. Uh, I only did two sets. Um, I think if I were to do one more set, the duct tape's gonna give away because even just kind of pulling it slightly, the plates are starting to shift. So, we're gonna do two. Next up, we're gonna do four sets of 10 meter sprint with the sled with 50% body weight on the sled. Rest 30 to 45 seconds and then a 15 meter acceleration with no sled and rest two to three minutes in between. First part is done, second part here, we're gonna take about a five minute break. So we do four sets, 10 meter sled, 15 meter acceleration. After you finish that fourth set, take a little bit longer of a break. So I'm gonna rest about five minutes here. And then we're gonna do 15 meter sled with 30% body weight, so 30 kilos on the sled. And then we're gonna do a 15 meter sprint with no sled. And we'll do three to four sets on that. So five minute break and then we're gonna get into the second set of contrast sprints. So that's the morning session. Last set there, I only did three. Uh, that third set didn't feel as fast and snappy as I wanted to, so I called it quits on that. So four sets with the heavier sled, three sleds with a lighter sled. Now I'm gonna take about three, four hour break. It's just, it's not quite 10 o'clock right now. I started at 8.45, and so that session was a little over an hour long. Um, I'm gonna go home, eat, I have to coach a class for an hour, and then once that class is over, I'll go into the gym and start my session. So I'll have about three and a half hour break here, which is normally ideal. You want somewhere between three to four hours between your training sessions if you're gonna be doing multiple sessions in a day. And the other thing I just realized is that this is gonna be a long video. So if you've watched this far, I appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe. And next up is gonna be the weight room. started the weight room session I uh, started just about 1 30 or so so from the time that my last session ended which was 10 to 1 30 that's about three and a half hour break which is right in that window I try to get three to four hour breaks in between if I'm gonna be doing double sessions started off with some broad jumps just kind of wanted to rewarm the legs up a little bit plus I like jumping before I do any kind of lifts 
especially Olympic lifts because it just makes me feel fast and snappy before I get into anything. And then five sets of pause snatches at 135. I made four of the five, missed one, was just a little lazy on that second pull. I paused at the knee and then just the, few, the first few reps before that felt light and then I just got lazy on that second pull so it was out in front and then smoked the next two. So now I'm gonna be doing some power cleans and jerks and then I've got front squats after that. It's really warm in Iceland today, which doesn't happen often, so it is, feels like a sauna in here. So I'm gonna start warming up, um, probably get close to about 160 on the power cleaning jerks, and then we got front squats after that. All right, so battery died. Didn't, wasn't able to film the front squats, but I ended up doing four sets of four at 170, and that was the session. So, power cleaning jerks felt good, snatches felt good, jumps were good. Overall, good sessions from the sprint session this morning at the track to today in the weight room, and we'll see you in the next one.